Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Hatha Tiff and tonight or oh, this afternoon sitting in the hot sun here in Dar es Salaam, East Africa. It is um, 35 degrees in the shade. The uh, feel like temperature is now almost 40 degrees. As you can see, um, sweating like a pig. At least I have a nice pool here at the back. If I move out of the way, what a lovely hotel. I will also put a little, some pictures of the hotel um, so that you can also have a look. Fantastic, very old colonial hotel, wood paneling everywhere. I think it is absolutely fantastic, quite a reasonable prices as well, fantastic food, ice cold beer and they do have a nice selection of whiskey as well um, and I might stop at the bar sometime and just to see what they have on offer. So tonight we are looking at uh, a little bit of American whiskey. I started a, a short little series, I did some of the whiskies, which I'm now going to also um, do today. And um, in the next whiskey, I will do a review from Sunny Zanzibar. So I'm looking quite forward to spending some time on my favorite island and do a little bit of uh, snorkeling, a little bit of diving, a little, maybe a catch a fish or two. So I'm quite looking forward um, to spending some time uh, on the island. Uh, tonight, the Rebel Yell Small Batch Rye Whiskey. That is something that I've never tasted before, never tried before. I did some try some rye whiskies. I kind of liked it. Um, it's a little bit of a quiet taste, a little bit of a strange taste if you're a Scotch whiskey drinker. So for me, um, I was quite interested to see this one. It's quite an old bottle. And from the information that I could see, um, we are talking maybe 2015 bottle. Um, I did look online on their website. So the, the newer bottles got a darker label, more black label in at the bottom. So I'll put a, also a picture on the, this older bottle, um, but the presumption was 2015. So it is bottled at 45% ABV. It's the two year old whiskey. Um, of course, for us here in uh, in Europe, uh, of course, two years also always sound a little bit on the on the low side. But of course, with the heat and everything, the the maturation is, it happens quite fast. So this is a straight rye whiskey. It comes from Kentucky. It is made by the Rebel Yell um, Distillery, and the cost in Europe was around. Um, 35 euros um, but uh, I think it was a little bit difficult to find um, so the new prices the new label I don't know I will maybe after the video I will go up and I will go check to see ex if um, the prices has gone up so nothing really uh, expensive considering um, you still have to get it into Europe from from the US um, US prices I have no clue what it is so um, I did pour it uh, a while ago and um, when I noticed it um, with the pour it was a little bit of a sharpness coming into it. So definitely needs a little bit of time in the glass, not the perfect nosing. So not a perfect nosing glass but it does do the trick if you're sitting in a hotel somewhere in the darkest of Africa. But a little bit of time in a glass, of it really changed up for me. So I get immediately, um, on the first board, it was a little bit of a sharpness to the alcohol, a little bit of a uh, tingling to the nose, even at a um, quite low 45% ABV. But I definitely picked up um, the sharpness of the alcohol. And um, within five, ten minutes in the glass, that sharpness quickly disappears. And then I left with loads and loads of vanilla coming out. 
Mm, really nice. So it's a light, soft vanilla sweetness. It reminds me a little bit of a cotton candy note. And also a little bit of the musk sweets that I pick up with some of the rice. That sweet musk sweets. And for the people that don't know what I'm talking about, I will put a picture up so that you, you might have seen it uh, as well. So the sweetness is definitely there, but it's definitely not an over, overly sweet uh, whiskey. And of course, with the time going by, it seems to be coming a little bit sweeter for me. And also, um, more of the vanilla is coming out of it, but never overly sweet for me. I also get something a little bit strange that reminds me a little bit of a preserved um, uh, pears, that nice sweet preserved pears with a ton of sugar in it, with a uh, syrupy liquid. We, um, not the liquid itself, but when you cut open that pear and you smell it, it's quite similar for me um, as the pears. So it is really on the nose, I think it's uh, quite soft. Um, especially after a little bit of time and it also when it opened up it's a quite a, a nice soft inviting whiskey so of course we, we need to taste it as well I'm look, quite looking forward to tasting it so cheers now definitely that softness of it really disappears it's definitely not soft on the taste Immediately, I get a little bit of a sharp, spicy bite of the alcohol. The sweetness is still there. A little bit of a vanilla, but not a sweet, sweet vanilla. Not like sweet ice cream vanilla. But you get the, the vanilla in it. Um, but then I get a little bit of a spicy note. So a little bit of a spice kick. I, and I did not expect that from the whiskey. I didn't just try it. So the alcohol feels a little bit stronger for me. Um, if I would have guessed, um, if I compare it to some of the Scotch whiskies that I have, um, I would even suggest that it can be 49% uh, ABV. That sharpness is there. And then I get a little bit of a bitter note coming up. Um, and it is um, not something that builds up. So it's at one level. And I was a little bit surprised to to find that tannin notes after only two years. So that means quite hot temperatures. That means the maturation quite fast. Color-wise, um, it's, it's still quite a, a light um, whiskey. If I would um, compare this to a Scotch whiskey, um, this will be, looks like almost a 10 year old Scotch whiskey for me. Um, if I, uncolored of course. So, um, that's, more, that's something that I would look for when I look at the Scotch whiskey. At that color, um, definitely I'm looking at uh, close to the 10 years old. So two years compared to the 10 year old, um, quite an interesting comparison. So for me, um, nothing complex. Let me just give it one more try. Hmm. But it is drinkable. Nothing complex. I'm not getting, I'm getting a little bit of a caramel note, note coming out now. Um, that bitterness is uh, definitely there, but as you know, I don't really like bitter whiskey, uh, the tannins. I think if you, if you leave this one a couple of years more, it's going to definitely be a really a bitter monster. So for me, one or two years, it's quite drinkable. I think there's something that I will definitely try to buy again. And I would also like to try the new bottling to see if there's going to be a difference. Um, I haven't seen it on my online store. So it might be interesting to when I do a little travels, maybe I can find it somewhere else to give it a quick review as well. And maybe do a little bit of comparison. So that's me on the um, Rebel Yell small batch. I'm not going to give it a score. I'm still a newbie when it comes to 
the um, American whiskies. So I don't want to jump the gun on giving it a score. I think I need to spend way more time um, on the whiskies. At this stage, I do love the nose. Uh, most of the American whiskies, I do like the sweetness of it. The corn, the rye, the mixture of the corn and the rye. The straight uh, rye. Um, I think this is the second one that I did with, uh, with a straight rye. So I do like it. Um, definitely going to recommend it. Uh, especially for my Scotch drinkers. Um, I think you also like it. Um, that, that a little bit of difference, a little bit of a reset of your palate. Maybe also appreciate something from the Americas. So I definitely recommend it. So please remember to like and subscribe. And I see you next time. And I will also put uh, one or two photos of this nice hotel. So see you next time. Cheers.